Okay. This is actually a comp I've been thinking about running. Four masters here on the left. Alright. Shinra auto ban. Yep, agree. So, I've recently realized that Thalia's cavalry movement get removed at the beginning of her turn, which means it can help to then trigger momentum. Yep, if you maneuver forward twice, then you start your next turn with Centrifuge. Yeah, it's... It seems pretty synergetic, like all, all of these three picks, it doesn't matter which one you pick, right? Yeah, all, all of these comps are really good. All right, we're back. Well, how did the teams look like? I guess the bottom player won this. Right? Mm -hmm. Who's our bottom player? Erlang. Erlang. All right, Erlang won this. Still super annoying with Frostbite, but this is... Awesome, you have... I guess a bit less combo reliance, so you can't get scammed by Scatter to the Winds knocking out your combo piece. Sure, just pretend it's better for consistency at the cost of power. All right. How does Overmaster possibly win this? Hitting his opponent more than he gets hit. Well, Overmaster can generate five flare very easily and play the Grand Gravity Attract to skip the mid range. Is that what they'll do? Yeah, that's what they'll do. Can't wait to see it work. Sadly, Overmaster doesn't get the first turn free roaring advantage. Not really. Yeah, the 2 2 from Karun is actually pretty solid here, too, because uh, there's not really a good reaction to punish it on Overmaster's side at all. Recoil and then stunt and then have all the flare. Yeah, I think you save recoil for when you're actually going for your grand gravity move though. Okay, maybe not. That's fine. You want them to get the vigor in case they misplay into roaring. Yeah, in case they decide not to spend it. No, but then that's a double flinch, which has negative synergy. Also true. Maybe you're holding it for two turns. Right now, the worst that Erlen can do to him is Sky Gleam, which I'm not convinced that he brought. Just another focus pass turn. Yeah, which cards do I get rid of? That seems like a good choice. Probably dump the reaction, right? Yeah. Hey, we played around Roaring. We're winning this game. You lose the game if Roaring takes one of your bigger. It's just over at that point. Yes. <laughs> just have to concede in shame. Lots of steel. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm sure you'll definitely have the free aura slots to Waltz of Steel. <laughs> There's the roaring. Vigor. Flinch. I 
Fuge stunt and advance three times. Yeah, still not that good. End up at range three. You just focus twice here. That doesn't seem right either. You definitely want to think move as close as possible this turn. You don't want to stop it. Long. You don't want to stop it mid range. Um, bring a past them. Yes. Yeah. Cool. And is that frostbite in his hand or prison of ice? Are you using level ninety nine name? Frostbite. Yeah. I keep remembering it has Prison of Ice or something. Rhyme Frost. Actually, isn't You've Frost by Prison of Ice? Hard. No, that was the old Kurunu enhancement before it got updated to Rhyme Thorn. Okay. It was a... a double flinch? Did we double flinch? Double flinch. Double Did flinched. It. Hopefully we spent the vigor before we got it back from. All right. Advancing right into range of their attacks, probably. Forward one, then gravity attract. Oh, don't stop it, four. Nope, we're just stopping at range four. All right, what's well, the biggest punish here? It's in his hand. Oh god, oh no. 4 3. Rhyme Thorn into Thresh. Oh, oh god. <laughs> it does take up all of your aura, right? Well, that doesn't matter. No, Rhyme, Rhyme, playing... Rhyme Thorn into Thresh is uh, just bypassing the aura, right? It's 4 3. I uh, know, your own aura to play the enhancements. Oh, yeah, you need Shadow. Uh, I think it's worth it. You're playing against Pagani, so what's the best they can do against you? Not much, right? Yeah, this is definitely worth it. And also, uh, yeah, Frostbite them afterwards, and then move back one. Oh, but you need more Shadow for that to really work. See, the problem here is if you play a normal from hand to create the shadow, then your Rhyme Thorn loses its buff. Yes. Yeah. You also just throw down two three twos and call it a day. Like, you can play Frostbite, which obviously will take your aura, but it locks in a little bit, and then you get the three two. Blade Dance, then you can 3-2 your Thresh, then yeah, what? Uh, what's the last special? Is it the Korunu Movement Enhancement? Push it to Ryunpei. Oh. So he's got Spreading Palm and Ryunpei. Cool. Is a 4-3 worth all your aura? It depends. See, there's also the chance that Overmaster is holding. Right? Like, if you assume they stop at range 4, then you should assume that they're holding a reaction mm. that allows them to safely stop at range 4, right? But honestly, even if it is... Uh, turbo switch, which is the only reaction he could have. I think you really mind them playing turbo switch because it's costly. 
it's costly for them, but then you also just burn two of your own aura for an attack that misses. Yeah. And it also enable centrifugal swing next turn. Oh yeah, triple switch forward also makes it easier to swing next turn. But then we'll but they can, around that. They can at least turbo switch the next turn if they really want to do that, though. Like, that's not really a factor, but yeah, the, the missing the attack would be very problematic. But it wouldn't be the end of the world. I don't know. I think that the benefits warrant the risk, but... Why do you go with the safe play of Double two one attack, frostbite, and end it there. Double two one attack, no, but there's always at least one three two. You do one three two and a two one if you're hedging. Right. One two one and a three two is the safer play, right? Because Thresh is a three two is just it's free. It's basically free here. And you're only losing... Actually, you only even lose one aura to do the uh, Rhine Throne Thresh. Because you put a seed token on. Oh, true. Just place two seeds and then you are stuck at one aura. Yeah, also true. If you play both the enhancements. And yeah, you could do that to get uh, a second 3-2 on there. If you, but that on aura locks them. I think it's, you're better off doing the the 3 2 thresh or the 4 3 thresh and then frostbiting. But if you get turbo switched, then you're down one aura. But against the hammer, your aura doesn't matter terribly much anyway. Unless it's vibe or not. This is quite tough. I think uh, either way, Erlang need to start attacking to generate Shadow. Even if it got like triple switch, you can continue with other attack. Because there is no way that you can win this if you let your opponent suck all the suck petals. Okay, we're doing this fine. Are we not Rhyme Thorning then? Ah, what is this? Oh shit. Coward, it's you not... coward. <laughs> Do nothing, please. Oh shit. Steam cannon. Oh my god. Punish. <laughs> you will be punished for your cowardice. <laughs> Play ever. <laughs> Steam cannon. All right, never mind. Overmaster won this game. How do you come back from that? <laughs> now you're still stuck at one shadow. You lost your. Now you can. Now you can potentially get the Rion pay though. You still got the four three attack. <laughs> you got two four three attacks. There are two hey, options for a 4 3. three attack. Oh, wait, no, no, you got rid of Blade Dance. Never mind. That's not on the table anymore. And this time you're safe at five distance. Not it's anymore. Fine. Uh, okay. The trouble switch, you still get hammered, but oh well. Wait, what? Uh, We're doing a 2 2? What? Coward. <laughs> Fuck. What is this cowardice? I hope you redraw a steam cannon. <laughs> Offer Master P will top deck that Talia in uh, True Hall next turn for another 3 3 attack. <laughs> yeah, there's only one way of blocking this, right? Was your aura. Right. I think I, that's that's the way to go. Only, you definitely you definitely don't put life to shadow. No, that's too that's too bad. That's 
That's just awful. No. I want to say something. <laughs> it is going to hell. <laughs> Hmm, what should I take? Two aura damage or two life, two flare damage? Hmm, hmm. <laughs> it even knocks them out of range for their own 3-2 attack. Now they have to discard another card to advance. That's okay, because advancing plays around Steam Cannon. Okay, you don't need to focus. You can use the other one. Uh, stunt to get to get player. Really? Who will not take that three three? Oh, he totally three. did. Gosh, uh, what are you doing? Or <laughs> <laughs> do it. Hit him. Stephen Cannon. <laughs> Hit, him. Hit him again. <laughs> Hit him again! Do it! Go on, do it! Too late! It's too late! Early. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Kill him! Go for it! <laughs> Early play mind games. Just play the steam cannon. My god, what can he do? He can have the, like, seed token Megumi special that nobody brings. <laughs> Wait a minute, if he play, if he plays Steam Cannon next turn, Erlang can deal how many damage? He can three deal four, three damage. Four. Three life damage. He has I four, four three. I four. Where's he get? Three, three. Oh, he's talking about with uh, Spreading Palm. Yeah, I four and three two. Steam Cannon. Oh, Where's he getting five four? Oh, from the 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 two three. No. The three two, nah, the three two that become four three because of that, and then pick uh, become. Oh, your opponent's aura is not full, so it is not for. Five, yeah, four, he could do thrash as a as a five four maybe, but he has to play a one seed spreading palm for that, which is just pathetic. <laughs> Don't forget to combat. Mm -hmm. There is Omega Burst, right? Uh, I don't think so. Omega Burst would make a lot, a lot of sense with Hagane, though. Yes. To cover you after your centrifugal attack. But we went with Julia's black box instead. Garudaform. Don't need machine tokens anymore. You can't even get to Julia's black box with this build. Mm. Unless you play Steam Cannon one time. <laughs> yeah, I think at this point you're right. Because you can't roaring. You can you can roaring for the machine tokens back. Right, but then that sets you at four. Yeah, he's not getting Julius anytime soon, but he got pretty well baited <laughs> by the opponent's lack of aura. Okay, we're doing two three twos here. It's fine, you can't possibly lose this. So he did the two, one is a three two, and the three two guy, okay. Checks out. Now you just need to land one centrifugal attack, which you cannot at this range. And you cannot do against Karunu Megumi. Now you just need to play your Grand Sky Crash and you win. Yes. A good finisher. He's got it. He's got it. This should be this should be lethal this turn. Got Grand Gravity Attract and Grand Sky Crash. He just needs to... Wait, he brought Grand Sky Crash? Grand Vermin Crash. So, five... You assume they have the Karunu backward reaction. Backward so reaction. Four two attack. You don't have lethal. Oh yeah, if they're running um, the ice skating. Yeah. 
So follow it up with another attack. Any special reaction? Yeah, Erlan brought Corinus in. No, he didn't. Erlan brought. Did not. Conrune. Got Runyanpe and Spreading Palm. You have to play around it, right? Or do you? You just go for it. Uh, I think Overmaster might just go for it, but. All right. There's also merit to just like trying to back up this turn or something, isn't there? Um, okay. Yeah. Well, we had a possible lethal, but we're not doing it this turn. Wait, are we going for it? Maybe we're going for it this turn. Like it. Have to see. Overmaster pops the uh, past them. Actually, you could just grant gravity attract right here. Yeah. yeah. There it is. Okay, he's going for it, and I think that's cool. scammed. Scammed. <laughs> what? And just ends what? his turn. Nice. <laughs> Actually playing around the enhancement. Oh. Okay, not scammed. <laughs> not scammed yet. I guess he he wants to go for that uh that black box and then. And then Garuda for the sky crash, or we can just wait for Rilling to reshuffle a couple more that times. Makes sense. I mean, honestly, you just win if he doesn't stick at five or at this point, right? So. No. How many cards left in Upper Master P deck? Just recoil. Now oh, that hand's useless. Well, this could be lethal, right? Is it? Yep. Two, three, or uh, one, two, or uh... two, 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 aura, and then two, three, life. And then to to like mm. oh yeah yeah because he's about to reshuffle. Oh, this lethal. So you do the Megumi spreading palm. You play the one yeah. one as a two two. Yeah. Then you play the two two. And then you reon pay. Yeah. How do you get in range for that? Reon pay is it's two to three, right? Oh yeah, he doesn't have the resources for. Oh wait, wait, because the the one one the two two will move you back too. You have to get into range two for that to hit in the first place. So you okay. play the enhancement first that gets you to range two. Yep. You spreading palm play the Megumi attack to two. Mm -hmm. Gets you to range four, you need to advance one. Two to life, two, three to life. Yeah, that would be lethal. Alright, what if your opponent blocks it? best they can. Two to life, two to life. Yeah, that would also be lethal. If he had Omega Burst, then you wouldn't be able to lethal. Right. But nobody spring defensive specials. Yep, but Erling's still gonna play around it. Let's see. He's gonna get in his own head, and he's gonna be like, oh, I can't do this, because he's got, he's got Omega Burst. And that's gonna decide the game. Playing around reaction is actually a good way to win this game because it respects your opponent's deck. But if you want to play around reaction, you still need to play around your opponent's attack as well. You cannot just play around reaction and things about like your opponent's defense capability without thinking it's their very... capability as well. Very all in and to play a spreading palm with one seed token. That's like saying, I know I'm going to be able to win this turn. Yeah, and then there is a, like uh, a time when you know that, all right, I cannot win this if I, I don't win this turn. Mm -hmm. So if, yeah, I, either I win this turn or I will lose. I think he's safe this turn as long as he gets one aura back. 
But he's still like it, it'd still be really bad to take a hammer hit here, right? Because you lose your hand and you lose all your aura. Yeah, I mean, uh, against uh, Agane, uh, if you lose all of your hand and you lose all of your aura, next turn you you might die to something else. So yeah, to the the third stage cannon. I don't cannon. think my aura is will save you here, like. Now, if we think it that way, there is also a possibility that your opponent's bringing like shield charge, shield charge into like other attack. Oh yeah, shield charge would be nasty here. You just go for lethal. I think going for lethal is. Uh. They're on mm. the out criteria, right so make. Uh, <laughs> wow. My connection to Erlang is looking very bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see if Erlang has decided to try for lethal in the time that he's had to think about this. You should upload all three games as one video. <laughs> what? Little, little marathon, you know. I already put them on a playlist. Okay, so Overmaster is ready, but Erlang is not ready. Hmm. Did Erlang's lethal require the reshuffle damage too? Two, 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 two. No, it doesn't. It does. Two, 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 two. Three. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't if uh, Overmaster takes the first two. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Yeah, if he, unless he takes the first two two twos to life directly, then then it would matter. But. That's really difficult to do. Looks like he's opted not to go for it. Cursed black or a token. Probably you want to earth shatter this turn as overmaster. Which means if you reshuffle, you have to discard a card. A little unfortunate. So, what do you say if the match ends in a third steam cannon for the win? I would love that. And get rid of that curse to Sakura token. Go to zero figure. I don't love going down to Aura, but maybe it'll be okay. Or maybe you just lose the game now. Erling did get rid of Reed, which kind of limits his options on aggression here. And the server timed out again. Cool. There we go. Let's promote this. Get this ship going. So, current game state, you would say that the kind of advantage is going to who at the moment? Ugh. It could go either way, honestly. It's just a matter of who decides to go. Well, actually, no. I think I think Erling is possibly slightly favored here. 
because he's the one who's in... Well, okay. That's the thing, though. It's like... I don't think Erling's gonna go for it until he's absolutely backed into a corner, and I think that might cause him to fail. But as far as actual position, like... Oh, wait. Okay. This is where we were when it crashed. Blade dance kind of feels like a pipe dream now, so yeah, I, I think you should discard that. Although the 2 2 lets him. Theoretically, if there is a Mega Burst, get into range for other things. Oh, you gave me some N yet? No, we've had multiple disruptions on the server. Okay. So now I'm hosting. <laughs> we got back for okay. two turns and then the Erling server crashed again. I see. Uh, what is the situation? I see a from Master P play that draw all the Erlang got played and the Pico Ricket uh, set to zero. Yep. And Erlang discarded the uh, discarded read last turn. Which severely limits his lethal options. Is it lethal this time? He doesn't have read, so he has to get rid of two Wait, cards just to get into a attack range. Read? Yes. Yeah, he tried to keep it when we reloaded the save, and I was like, no, you discarded that. <laughs> Question, is that Frostbite or... I believe that's Rhyme uh, Frost. Rhyme Thorn. Rhyme Thorn. Is this still lethal? Still, right? Three, 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 four. Just back up twice and hit them three, with three, a three, four, three, four. Three, four, one, one, two, two, right? Just hit them with a four, four. Four, four? With what? Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, actually, you're correct. Hmm. Just have your four four Omega burst in. I think uh, after I was, uh, watching the Grand Graffiti attract, there is no way that he'll open it. No, there is still possibility. So it's still possible that he'll open it, bring Graffiti attract, crash, and Omega burst, right? I mean, it's certainly possible. There's two face down specials. The only artificial token users he's seen, though, is uh, Team Cannon and Roaring. 
Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think definitely, probably, definitely, but probably host that makes sense. Uh, the the first one probably is Rise. The second one is either Black Box or Omega Press, right? Yeah, I think I agree. Oh. Unless they're doing something weird, like if you don't like, he hasn't seen centrifugal attack yet. This game, right? Because it's just been that weird of a game, so he doesn't even uh-huh. necessarily know that Overmaster brought it. But it wouldn't make sense for him did, not to. Did you actually play Hagen? What's that? Exactly. Yeah, are you actually playing Hagen if you didn't take? Uh, I think you could. There's there's an argument of playing Hagane just for flare well, denial, no, no, but, but you 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 see, you're not playing Hagane then. You're just playing the Megami with the hammer. <laughs> Imagine shield Here's charge into Grand thing. Sky crash, yeah. Grand Permit crash. Yeah. All right, it just that. No, he just to play three three, I guess, not four four. Yep. Starting with three four, I guess. It's your nurse non special, right? Oh no, it's a three four. Yeah. Then it's game, right? There is no Omega burst. Um, he can still attack next turn. He takes two aura damage from frustration, and then he no. he recoils back. Oh yeah, he, yeah, he plays the two two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over. It's over. All right. <laughs> For some reason, there is no Omega first. Oh, the game ended Obviously. finally. Question: Did Overmaster bring Turbo Switch? Yeah.